Hey, look. It's a zip disk. I did a video on these, uh, wow, was that a year ago? A long time ago. I forget exactly how long. If, if you're interested, do go watch it. It was pretty cool. Um, I, I opened a sealed zip disk and a boxed zip drive. It was really awesome. Uh, and I do recommend you go check it out. I've gotten a bit curious about these discs recently. I mean, we all know how a floppy works, right? I, I have clear ones, so I don't need to break it in half and get the disc out to show you. It's got a magnetic disc in the middle. This particular one has this, like, padding around the side. When you open the door, you can see that there's a hole in the padding. So you can't actually see the magnetic layer through the clear part. You just see this foam around the, the edge. However, you know, you, you open the shutter, you see the disc in there, and it indeed is floppy. The casing is not very floppy, but the disc itself is. Because from my understanding, these are the same, you know, kind of material of the disc that was used on the floppy disks that were actually floppy, the 8 inch and 5.25 inch ones. Anyway, zip disc though, how does that work? It looks like a floppy, kind of, but it's really thick and it's a lot heavier. And it's not just down to the casing, which, although it is a bit more durable, you know, it's definitely different. It's built different. It also has this little window with this reflective thing here. What's going on there? And the slider doesn't go down, like, like there's not a part here. So how a zip drive works is it puts the heads inside the disc. Like it opens it and then either moves the disc like that, or moves the head like that, so that it can read it. So, I'm really interested to see how this works. I'm not destroying a rare piece of technology here. These are really common. They're like a dollar on eBay. And it would cost more for me to sell this one, and I'm not going to use it. So, Okay, so the, the actual disc itself is as floppy as that that would be found in a floppy. These are bootable. From my understanding, a lot of zip drives aren't. They're not plug and play. They need a driver. Uh, a lot of biases won't recognize zip drives as, you know, a bootable thing. A lot do, but a lot also don't. This is very firm casing. I'm gonna try it. Okay, okay, that's doing it. Like, bending it at the sides is exposing the little snaps because it's not screwed together because they don't want you to take it apart. I wonder why. That's, that's sarcastic. These are built really well. Why are they built so well? I don't know, I scratched it. The, the actual little thing. Okay, so this is interesting. It's like a reflector that you would see on a bicycle. Now my guess, um, I'm not sure what this is for, but there were many sizes of zip discs. So similar to the holes on cassette tapes, that tell the deck if it's, for example, uh, a chrome tape or if it's recordable or not. I think this tells the drive if it's a 100 or 250, and I think there was another size disc. So like that would either look different or just not be there on different size discs. So that would be an interesting thing to know. That's cool. The spindle is actually attached to the thing. Yeah. So here it is. Hard drive platter for comparison. Wait, it's the same spindle size. That's hilarious. And it's the same, it's the same size as a hard disk platter. 
That's really cool. Um, and this one is moist because I literally was just using it as a coaster. That's what these are really good at. And also the padding you can see here, the zip disc also has it. So I guess that's to prevent the uh, fragile material of this from getting scratched on, um, on the side of the drive. I have a really thin hard disk platter. I'm going to go get it. There are actually like four or five common different thicknesses of hard drive platters for those who did not know. Yeah, that literally fits perfectly. Like you could, I don't know if it'll close. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can literally put a hard drive platter inside your zip disk. Wait, didn't they make something called the Jazz Drive iOmega? Yeah, they did. Uh, they made some sort of hard drive based storage solution. And I'm not talking about the click. Or am I... I'm remembering some obsolete storage technology. Maybe as one of their competitors that used hard drive platters in a form factor similar to this. So unfortunately, someone thought of it first, so I can't copyright it, which sucks. Also, uh, that's a joke with the data density of modern drives. As soon as you opened this shutter, your data would be destroyed. So there's no, there's no chance a company would do that now with more than like a 40 megabyte platter. And good luck making money with that. I'm just going to keep it like this. It's my zip hard disk. I might even take the spindle from this one, which feels like it should just... Okay, so yeah, this is glued to the, the magnetic material. It's pretty shiny as well. Hello, me. Hello, light. Uh, yeah. That's cool. I, I did not expect that to be the same size. Sorry, I, I'm just getting obsessed with this. I'm going to talk a bit more about the, the zip drive that doesn't work like that. Um, I'll have to glue it back together if I do leave the hard drive platter in there. Of course it won't work, it'll be as a joke. But these uh, just snapped. I don't know if they're supposed to snap, like I don't know if that's supposed to be a put it together and then they're permanently like that, or if just from aging the plastic got brittle. I would open one of these to test out, but I kind of need them. And uh, the hard disk platter is actually slightly bigger than the floppy. You can see it sticks out the sides. So I wouldn't be able to make the same joke, unfortunately. That's pretty much all I can do in this video. Just a pretty cool thing. Uh, now I've got a nice carrying case that can fit two floppies. Because a zip drive is like twice the thickness of one of, one of these floppies. Oh, I was putting it in the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got a floppy case. That's it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.